If you're the sales manager for packaging reseller or a packaging reseller, your young people are absolutely critical. They have the opportunity to change the world. Look, I've been doing this for 35 years. If you don't embrace your young people, you are asking for trouble. They speak and think for themselves, and it's absolutely critical that you understand how they operate, how they work, and embrace this. Don't push them aside. Embrace your young people. They, in turn, are going to grow our businesses and the packaging space for the next 30 years. Let me explain more. Look, young people out there right now, whether they're Gen Xers, Gen Millennials, whatever they may be, you know, it's interesting. Been doing this for a long time. A lot of the young kids have often been um, kind of like, don't talk until you're talked to or stay in the background. Don't say anything. I'll tell you when to talk. And that's absolute BS. The young people that are out there right now can and will change the world. I don't care whether it's packaging in this particular case we're talking about or global warming or whatever else is going on. My point is, is that Young people today think for themselves. That's critical, absolutely paramount that they think for themselves. They don't need your opinion, my opinion, what their parents say, what their uncle says. They think for themselves. Does it work in their eyes? Does it work in um, their world? Does it make sense? This is where a lot of times all this nonsense that's going on out there in the in the packaging industry, paper's better, plastic is horrible, plastic is horrible, papers are great, whatever. Think for yourselves. Let's do like the young people do. Think for ourselves. Look at the facts. Look at the data. Make a, an informed decision. This is how the young people are going to change the world. They think for themselves. They don't fall prey to um, whatever uh, some political organization is telling us. Well, that's the way it is. And uh, uh, just take it as, as fact uh, because I said so. No, it doesn't work like that. When you're a young person, you don't fall into this trap of uh, um, a public opinion. You look at what pertains to you. You look at what pertains to your world. And I admire that. We, as a packaging industry, need to admire that and embrace that more. Challenge authority. It's another key thing that young people do. They don't necessarily just go along and just assume, well, that's just the way it is. No, I've never seen a generation that is more apt to challenge authority, um, ask for more details, could you explain that to me? Um, can you show us more information? How did you come up with that, um, that, that topic or that fact or that information? The young people now, it's very easy for younger people in their, in their, or people like me in the late 50s, early 60s, to just assume that young people are going to be like our, children's when, our children when they were much younger. Not anymore. They will challenge authority. They will challenge and they will look for their own information to make decisions. And that is huge. If we want to ch make change going forward, we need to be led and enmeshed with the young people. They can challenge authority. They can think for themselves. And saying no is okay. Have we ever been around more people like the young people who are willing to say no? I'm not doing that. If you want me, and again, just look look at what's happening in our world right now, where we've got post-COVID, a lot of companies are saying, well, everyone's going to have to come back to work in a physical location, come to the office. And you've got a group of young people saying, no, I'm not doing that. Um, I found out that I was much more productive working remotely. Um, I have uh, responsibilities that I can get some other things done. You can pay me less. Um, the dollar isn't most important. You can, um, you know, uh, they just understand that saying no is okay. In my world, late 50s, early 60s, God forbid we say no. Then we, we stress and worry and complain and 
uh, are fear-based into, well, if I said no, then they're going to be angry, whoever they are. Um, they're going to take my business away or they're not going to work with me anymore if I say no. No, saying no actually is probably one of the strongest things that we can encourage young people to do and people in general. If it doesn't fit for you, don't say yes. Say no. No, it doesn't work. And saying no is okay. And not feeling guilty about no. Let's move on. Let's get past the no is some sort of a, a bad word. It's not. It's a great word. Saying no is okay. And that's what the young people do in the packaging space. No, that doesn't make sense. No brown box right here doesn't make sense. A blue bag ban versus using paper and paper products that cut down more trees and damage um, the, the rainforest might not be a good answer, might not be a good solution. And just because I said so is not going to work with the young people. So be aware, us older folks, they're going to want more details. Where are the facts? Oftentimes when talking with young people, they want to lasso around, focus on facts, not opinion, not my opinion or your opinion, but facts. Where are the facts that such as one is better than another type of packaging? Where are the facts that um, this is harmful for the environment versus not harmful? By the way, your opinion, Mr. Manufacturer, is not a fact. Your opinion isn't a fact to be able to kind of stand there and say, well, this is because X, Y, Z. No, 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 no. Detailed scientific facts. Where are the facts? That's what young people want to rely on. That's how they're going to base their opinions. That's how they're going to base their decisions. Where are the facts? And give them to them or give it to them. I've often seen young people say something along the lines of, I don't agree with that. Um, and that's okay too. It's almost like saying no. It's another way to say no, but I don't agree with that. And, or I'm not going to do that. Or I don't agree with it. I'm not going to do with it. And no, and that's it. And they are willing to just kind of, you know, they, they get a lot of support from other young people. They understand that, um, you know, in, in many cases, they may be a minority. But for us to be able to really and truly want the next generation and change, we need to embrace the young people. And it doesn't make if it doesn't make sense to them, we need to make sure it makes sense to them. We can't just force feed them into our parents' opinion or our opinion like we did, like we grew up with. Those of us in our late 50s, early 60s, um, just fell in line. Well, that's what my mom said. That's what my dad said. My uncle Larry said, that's it. No, I don't agree with that. Show me and maybe I'll agree, but maybe not. Show me. Why are we doing this? That's another huge question that young people ask. Why? Tell me why. Not because you said so. Not because it's uh, public opinion, but why? Why am I doing this? Why do you want me to do this? Why do you need me to do this? Those are the kind of things. Asking why is something that the young people do regularly. And I, they should be applauded for this because asking why means they're not just going to fall in line. They're not going to just do what everybody said to do. So part of this rant is basically to share with people and not just not just the young people who I hope will embrace this, but those of us in our late 50s, early 60s and onward, we need to understand that we're not, we are not going to be able to change the world or um, affect change in any way unless we are connected and dialed in with the young people. That's the generation that's coming. That's the generation that's going to be actively involved in this. We need to embrace the young people. We've got to do things that encourage the young people to think for themselves like they're doing and continue to think for themselves. One final piece when it comes to packaging and young people. If you're in the packaging space as a sales manager, you have got to encourage your, your packaging people to think for themselves and remember, protect their business, protect their accounts. 
in the days, in the years past, so many packaging salespeople and so many sales managers for packaging resellers have allowed this nonsense of giving away free advice, doing a bunch of free work, sending samples and, and information and specs and drawings and artwork and all this other kind of nonsense out there, hoping and thinking that the end user, the customer is going to somehow reward that. Guys, we're being foolish. We're being foolish even to this day. If we're giving away free information, if we're encouraging our young people, our packaging resellers to give away free information, to give out free samples and free content and free, no, you are going to lose. If you're a packaging reseller, you, and you're the sales manager for a packaging reseller, we need to teach our young people and the rest of our staff that no is okay. We're not doing that. Why is a good question. Why are we doing this? Why do you need this? What's the issue? What's happening? Asking those questions will literally separate you from the rest of the pack and allow you to partner with your clients and sell more. I hope this is helpful. Hi, everyone. It's David Maranek. I hope you enjoyed that episode. If you want to see more, here's another video that you can check out, and I hope you enjoy it. Thanks.